Hello everyone and welcome back. Three days ago at this time I was just getting out of surgery. They probably had me in the little recovery area. And well day three is definitely easier than the first day. First day was real groggy, sore. The second day I was still sore. <laughs> I'm still sore today but um, it just gets better each day. I'm restricted on what I can do and everything, but I want to run out and grab the SD card out of the trail camera because I am so bored. And I think I can make that little trek. And let's take a look and see. I only fed the deer one time out there. And after that, you know, we really didn't have much of a winter, so I didn't do much. But let's check it out. And then maybe we'll talk a little bit more about the hernia as the, the days go on here. No moving the camera from place to place today. <laughs> it's a straight walk out there and a straight walk back. Melissa took the day of surgery and the day after surgery off, which was nice. I just got these guys keeping me company. Looks like we have a bunch of pictures on there. I'll go through these and see if there's anything that looks good. Two, uh, two days ago, I saw five deer walking across the side pasture there. Let's just go through these like this here. I see that the camera dropped right after I put it up. Look at that pile of wood by the boiler. Now that's completely cut up. See how it dropped down? Nice little red fox, raven, blue jays, cats. Chunky. Joni, stay down Chunky, I don't need you to, it's hard for me to sit like this. Melissa checking me to see if I'm doing okay. Boy, once I stop putting that feed in there. <laughs> you don't see much for deer. Oh, I pushed the snow back. Same cats just running the same. Ah, uh, path. It's funny how the animals, domestic or wild, will run on the edge of everything. There's like, you know, you get like the game trail. Oh, rabbit. Skunk. Wow, that was on February 22nd. I suppose it's been a warm winter. You guys even see that with the the way the there we go. That's it. 306. There's me getting it today. Most of my time I have spent right here laying on the bed. I like to sit out on the couch, but after a while there's like a burning sensation that's in like where they did the, it's not where the cut is that goes in or where the actual like hernia where you could see it looking down, you know, before my surgery, but it's like in the middle of that. And it's more on the right side because that's where more of the extensive damage was. 
So I watched Gunsmoke, I watched Star Trek. <laughs> Yesterday for a while I watched Rawhide. Just whatever channels I, I like to just put it on Pluto and they have so many different shows to watch. The first night, you know, I got home that whole first day, you're just a totally groggy and just don't feel all that great at all. And then, uh, ah, uh, um, then they said to take it, they gave me oxyco oxycodone and they said that would help me sleep. They gave me one at the hospital and I didn't take one the whole rest of the day. I was home at just about exactly noon and, uh, but you're totally out of it, you know. And then that night I took one before bed at like 10 o'clock. And it was, uh, it was like it zinged me awake. I was awake. I scrolled my phone until 3.30 in the morning when I finally fell asleep. And then I slept. I only got two and a half hours, two hours and 15 minutes of sleep that night. Took a good nap the next day. But, um... Uh, yeah, so I haven't taken any more of that. All I've taken now is they wanted me to take ibuprofen and then uh, the ne th every three hours and then the next three hours then you would take Tylenol. And I took the Tylenol. That didn't do much for me. The uh, ibuprofen seemed to work the best. So I I just been taking that every three hours and now I'm on like four and a half hours with nothing. And I don't, uh, it's much better today, the third day, than it was any of the other days. But I was so sick of scrolling my phone that night. Oh, I mean, there's only so much Facebook and so much YouTube comments you can go through and everything. I was just <laughs> going crazy. I was so happy when I finally fell asleep. It's a nice looking sourdough starter. Smells good. Yeah, it does. You just dump that right into the flour? I'm going to dump it in the wet. Along with the butter and stuff? Good morning everybody. Day four after surgery. I'm so bored I can hardly stand it. Melissa just got started. She's doing breakfast for lunch and she's making homemade sourdough biscuits. It got down to 15 degrees last night. Now it's up to 25 right now but the wind it's cold. I'm looking forward in two days it's supposed to be like in the 50s for three days, which is going to be nice because then I can walk around outside some and it won't be so cold. The wind is what's doing it. Good morning, everybody. Day five of the most boring video ever, or day five after surgery. Melissa's gonna make lasagna today. I don't think I've, and she's gonna make regular lasagna. I think the only lasagna that she's ever made was like a cabbage lasagna. They use cabbage instead of the noodles. So it'll be interesting to see how this is. I'm sure it'll be good. Feeling a little bit better, still a little tight in the abdomen and stuff, but Still a little bit of a burn on the right side if I don't sit down correctly or whatever, but not too bad. Six degrees this morning, going up for 45. What's in this bowl right here? Cottage cheese, cottage cheese, parsley, an egg, and mozzarella cheese. While Melissa's out there making lasagna, I'm in here editing a video that from 2022 that I never edited. You guys probably, I probably already put this up. 
I don't know if it's coming up before this video or after, but when we did the train ride and went from Duluth to Two Harbors, I just needed something to do. I'm getting kind of kind of antsy sitting around. The Minnesota, the PBS channel, they must be doing their spring money drive or whatever. They had some pretty good programs on. This one is about how early Minnesota settlers handled the winter and everything and now they were just talking about I think it was 1877 the grasshoppers that the plague lasted for like four years so I'm trying to edit this so that I keep turning my head and looking at the TV Seven o'clock at night. That was probably the best lasagna I've had. <laughs> Best I've had in a very long time anyway, I can't remember. That was really good and that homemade garlic bread was also. I took a shower. Uh, Melissa right now, she's in there gonna make a roast. She's got her big old cast iron pan out and she seared two pork roasts and now she's doing, uh, I don't know what it is, the Trinity. Frying that up so it smells good in there again. Nice night, it's really nice. Good morning everybody. It's actually about 10.30 right now. Got down to 22 degrees last night. It's supposed to, according to my phone, get up to 61 degrees today. Average high for this time of the year is 34. I really don't have any pain from the surgery except for that same that burning feeling that I have on the right side like when I sit down in the wrong position or when I try to get up or roll out of bed. But I've still just taken it easy. I haven't done anything I'm not supposed to. Just going to unplug the heater. It's going to be warm the next few days. There's no reason to have any heat going in here at all. Next week I want to get in here and clean things up, but I'm going to wait and take it easy all week until my appointment on Friday. I'm going to keep the heat on back here because Melissa has all that clay sitting there. And that can't freeze and the nights, tonight's only going to get down to 34, but the nights after that are still going to go below freezing. Maybe in a couple of weeks the doctor will say I can come out here and start working on this or something. We had that one chicken was dead in there three days ago and it was one of the newer ones that are only a couple years old so I don't know what happened there. As soon as I can get to Tractor Supply or to l and I'll check at l and first. We're probably going to get six more hens. Because really we only have the three that are young layers and they lay eggs constantly. Now we only have two. And the other ones are just old and retired. There's like one chicken that lays eggs. But we're not the type to call them. Not with Melissa here. <laughs> they... Uh, get to live their retirement out to the end. I don't know if you guys remember, but right before the ground was going to freeze last fall, I planted these five blueberry plants right here. 
and the rabbits I mean they were nice the rabbits have chewed it down nothing on that one pretty much trimmed all of them up this one <laughs> there's hardly anything left on that be interesting to see if they come back or not they're gonna need some water it's been dry it's it's you know we got all that rain in December but since then it's been pretty dry Ground is still frozen now, though. Just saw a cottontail rabbit run over there into the woods. The fruit trees here, I think this is apple here. They, they're all getting buds, but it worries me because I don't know if the camera will... I'll focus on that, but just above that white you can see where the all of the bark has kind of peeled. I had that same trouble up at the tent and then the tree dies off. This one doesn't look too bad. It might just be, you know, getting big enough so the bark splits, but I don't know. They've all got that. The apples anyway. This one over here is a cherry and it doesn't have that at all. This is a real healthy tree when it when it gets going. Over here we have one of the pear trees. This one was really healthy last year. This has the same thing with that bark, but it doesn't look as bad. Can't wait for green leaves. This is another pear tree that was doing really good last year. And this one over here is a, another cherry, but this one, that was before it was fenced, the deer broke it off. And this one didn't do all that much last year. I mean, it grew, but not that much. And this one right here is a crab apple tree, and we just have that as a pollinator. Didn't get to have Saturday movie time in the fish house this week, but I think my next Saturday should be okay for that. Just the one light on, that means the gas is working in here. Refrigerator's on. If there was two lights, that means I'm out of gas. I have it turned turned down in here 45 degrees. What do I have it set on? Probably 40. I have it set on 40, so. These little bushes here that I planted last fall, I can't even remember what they are. But they didn't get chewed down by the rabbits. But I don't know, nothing looks healthy this time of year, but hopefully they'll come back. Smudgy! What are you doing? Come on, Smudgy. Let's go back, Smudgeo. Come on. I think it's already up to 50 degrees. I should have had Melissa let Beauty out before she left for work, but I don't know if I can lift her if she squirms around. Come on, Smudgy, you slowpoke. I should probably start my truck today and let it run for a little while. It's been well, today, uh, one week ago, today was the last time that I drove it, or had it started when I got the chicken food and everything. Brandon has been doing the boiler morning and night. Brought the garbage down yesterday. Yeah, it's greatly appreciated. I, I just can't do it. Melissa could, but it's nice that Brandon can, because Melissa was busy cooking 
the entire weekend pretty much. This is all the times that I've taken medication, ibuprofen. 8.25 I took it last. It's 11.11 now. I'm supposed to take it every three hours, but I think I already explained that. Sometimes I go up to eight hours now. I really don't. I really don't need it. I do take a couple before bed, so I get a good four hours of sleep, and that's usually what happens. I go to bed, and almost four hours later, I wake up. The hospital sent me a card to get well. All the nurses signed it. When I got this, I told Melissa, see, I told you, they all saw me naked after they put me under, and now they're trying to get a hold of me. And she just laughed and says, yeah, because they feel sorry for you. <laughs> I still come in here and lay down because when I sit for too long, it kind of burns, like I said. I get sick of it. We got a blanket over the window because living here you really don't need any curtains anywhere because there's nobody to see you. Yeah, so I'll lay down here for a little while and then get back up because I'm super bored and I spent a lot of time sitting on the couch this weekend and that was kind of painful. What do I want to watch today? Nothing really. Pluto will have something. Rawhide? I don't think so. I think I'm going to do Gunsmoke. <laughs> 61 degrees. Unbelievable. One week ago, at this time one week ago, I was in having surgery. Another pretty nice morning. I got down to like 28 degrees last night, but it's going to get up to 60. And, but it's going to be windy today compared to yesterday. And then it's going to slowly go downhill and we're going to be back down in the normal, you know, highs in the 30s. But it'll take a few more days for that. I was just looking at that buggy because like last night would have been the perfect night Melissa could have went out for a buggy ride but that battery is dead and I wanted to see I don't think I can actually get it all out and stay within my uh, restrictions that I have but I and I, I really want to follow those closely until I get into my doctor's appointment and see what they say but I wanted to get that popped open and see what's involved maybe I can I think I'm gonna. That battery has to come out and then be slipped out, and you have to take the air cleaner and everything off to get it. But I'm bored. I wanted to look at that. Brandon's gonna make uh, hamburgers on the gas grill today and jalapeno poppers and stuff for lunch. So I'm looking forward to that. That's one thing I gotta say. There's plenty of good food to be eaten since I've had my surgery. I got the battery out, but 
it's surprising how something simple as this, my legs are just shaking, trying to hold them in a position where I don't feel you know any pain. I'm trying to see when. I mean, this is as far as I'm going to go with this today. I'm not driving anywhere. I started my truck though, so because it had been a week, so the battery can be charged up, but I can't really tell what that says. That's probably it for my strenuous work today. Well, it's the afternoon. That lunch that Brandon made was really good. He made those jalapeno poppers. I've never had those before. They were really good. The hamburger was awesome. But I came out here because in the bedroom, if I have the TV plugged in, the cords from the TV come down only so far, and then it's plugged into a six-way. And if I plug my phone cord into that, to go over to the bed, it reaches but just the corner. So to comfortably like scroll on your phone and everything, it, it doesn't work. You can't have them both going at the same time. And I have this Browie 300 charging system and I wanna bring that in there because I can put that right on my nightstand and plug into this. We got this because uh, this coming fall, Melissa and I wanna take a canoe trip to the Boundary Waters canoe area and do some fishing and in that area you can have no boat motors, no motors of any kind, it's paddle only. And to get in there I think it'll be a, a, a lot of fun catching walleyes and some big northerns and just and it's can't you know be camping in a in a, just a tent that you put up and stuff. But I'm gonna need I would need something to charge my the phones up and my batteries on my camera and everything. And this here is under 10 pounds, so it's not like a, a big battery unit, you know, nobody's going to want to carry that because you paddle in and then you have to do a portage to a next lake and a portage to another lake, depending on how far in you go. So I wanted to bring this in and I played with it before, it works great, but I want to use it now and plug my phone cord into it so it can stay charged. Another super nice day, just a little bit windier than yesterday. You can see it right here. It's a pretty cool little unit. 300 watt hours. You can charge it with solar or, you know, electric or car, whatever you want, but perfect for a canoe trip and not too heavy. Those are your inputs right there. Your USB ports, the little ones and the big ones car outlet over here, electric right there, Can you guys see that? It's got a light. Has this cool thing on it right here. <laughs> and like I said, it has all the cords and everything for it right there and a nice little bag and a carrying strap. But all I want it for right now is to charge my phone when I'm in here. And yeah, you'll definitely see this when we go to the Boundary Waters. Thing's going to be sweet. Let's see, turn on DC.
Hard to believe it's still the beginning of March right now. I just shut the chickens up into the coop. They were already back in on their roost. It's still 60 degrees out and it is a little bit after 6 o'clock right now. Check this out. It's not even the middle of March yet. The grass is growing. What's going to happen when it gets cold again? It's got to be screwing up for the fruit trees and everything, all the trees this year. I wonder if that guy will ever come and pick up this trailer. I haven't heard a peep from him since he dropped off that wood months ago. No registration or anything on it. Just looking at those logs makes my groin sore. <laughs> oh, that hurts to laugh. <laughs> Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. I think I'll end this one right now. We're one week after surgery. It can't get any more boring than this one. <laughs> Start up the next one tomorrow. Friday I go in and they tell me how it turned out. I will see you guys on the next video.